Hey HA Good morning I am Tiger and what we are doing is an update a little update stream to the stream that we had on Thursday concerning the British Railway Class 395 Javelin on the Southeastern High Speed Extended DLC of Trains in World 3. We have been talking about the TVM 430 system and the in cap signaling system and uh, while the video was processed by YouTube I found out a bit more especially I found a service where I can showcase the signal aspects that announce a stop and they look a bit different in the game than I told you in the video because obviously the game is using a more modern version of the display where the color scheme is a bit different what I also uh, realized when rewatching the video of Thursday is that I did not tell you about when you can get a penalty break from the TVM system because you don't get a penalty break just because running faster than the indicated limit but you usually have a margin of error like usually it is 10 kilometers above the indicated speed but starting at speeds of 170 and above it is 15 kilometers that you can actually go over speed limit and not get a penalty break with speeds I think starting at 300 what we do not have on this route here it is actually more than you do not get a penalty break unless you go faster than 300 35. This I obviously did not check out in the game for every possible speed, but this is how it is supposed to be. And this only works if you turned on the TVM control here in this box behind your driver's seat. We are on our way from Sandwich to London St. Pancras. We all have already passed Apps Fleet. We did not stop there. I'm playing this service in the journey mode because I found that you can actually get this uh, red aspect here and you will have to stop at one of the block markers because there is a train in front of you at Stratford International and we are closing already in on Stratford International Station and uh, I hope that it happens the same way that it happened last time and we will actually be slowed down not only for the stop at the station but also for a stop at a so-called red signal a red aspect on the cap signaling system so that we have to stop at the corresponding block marker. You can see that we are at the moment traveling at uh, the line speed of 225 in the tunnel and what we are usually expecting is that when we are closing in on Stratford International the TVM system will slow us down so the White numerals on green background will start flashing so that we know that two blocks ahead we will have to be at a slower speed. And if everything works out as I hope for and as it happened last time I played the service, then we will actually get, yeah, now they start flashing and we have to start slowing down. So if everything uh, works out as I hope for, then we will get an aspect that warns us about an incoming stop. Now we get the flashing blacks on diamonds telling us that the next uh, block will have a reduced speed to 200. That is not so problematic, we are already slowed down. But it is still falling. Next will be 170. And 170 is a crucial number because from 170 and from 80 it can drop to a stop. And it is flashing, that means it is still going 
slower than 170 and here's the marker and here are the number else that I wanted to talk about here this is the aspect that warns you about an incoming stop and the next block marker is up ahead and you can see that the train is in the station so that we have to stop there is the stop marker I hope we make it before we hit it so that we don't spat out yeah looks good and you can see that it is a stop marker or a block marker with an N meaning that it's a non-passable block marker I showed you in my video that there are block markers with an N plate and with an P plate N for non-passable, P for passable and uh, this is a non-passable one so we cannot actually stop and proceed with 30 kilometers but we will have to wait until the aspect changes and the aspect will not change before this train leaves the platform and clears the block in front of us and what you can see is that the game is using a um, modernized version of this aspect unlike what I told you in my presentation it is not black numerals on red diamonds on black background but it is black numer numerals on white diamonds on red background, background to be fair this is what it is shown in the old manuals that the DTG provided for the Trains in World 2 uh, DLCs for the TGV and for the now of course we are now in the new block the block in front of us is again occupied by the train now the train has left the block and we can go to our place at the station This service is the one that you find in the drone in, in the journey mode. It's the third item, I think, of the first chapter that deals with the javelin, and it is a special service because it does not stop in Apps Fleet and it features a double traction javelin. So you have actually 12 cars not six, that's why you don't stop at the marker for the six cars but you have to stop at the actually non-existing marker for 12 cars at the end of the platform and I got too far a bit okay this is what I wanted to show you here the aspect for how to uh, announcing a stop signal and how this works when you get traffic in front of you. The other thing that I wanted to update you about is um, how to recover from a KVB uh, penalty break and for that we actually choose another service in the southeastern high speed with the Chevlin starting at London St. Pancras actually it does not really matter which one anyone that starts in St. Pancras because the KVB system as you know is uh, installed in London St. Pancras and also in Ashford station and what I want to show you is how the system reacts if you go beyond the alerter curve and then beyond the brake curve actually so what do we need to do we have to set up our train open the doors obviously turn on the security systems not forgetting the KVB in this box over there and then wait for the passengers to board and what I found out is uh, which button, button you can actually press to reset the emergency penalty application that comes from the KVB. The KVB display is this one here obviously just as shown in my video 
and at first I will deliberately go a bit too fast so that you can see the that the V indicator starts flashing and then you will hear a warning noise that goes like beep 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 same tone in fast frequency and when you even go beyond the brake curve then the system will apply a penalty brake you will see the FU for freinage d'urgence in the display and uh, you will hear a second sound that has two tones it goes like beep or beep or beep or beep or and both sounds are going off at the same time and then your train will slow down and to a stop and uh, I will show you which key to press to release that. The sounds will stop not before your trains com train comes to a full stop. So, 10 seconds, then we can actually move our train. The station has a limit of 40 here. The KVB monitoring does not start before we passed this sound is not from us. You can maybe see in front of us that we should have some light. Here, those yellow thingies are the KVB magnets. As soon as we have passed them, the KVB system should turn on. Or at least shortly afterwards. Here are more of those green KVB magnets in the track. Now it turned on. You see the dashes, that means we are under monitoring. 40 is the limit. As soon as I pass the 45, you can see the alert curve and the V indicator and the sound. And if I go even faster, second sound, FU, and now the train brakes. What we do, we put the power handle to off and as soon as the train stops you can push the TPWS brake demand button to reset it and then you can go on. What we have been talked about is that the V indicator lights up uh, uh, permanently. I think that the other one should light up permanently uh, and not the V indicator when you get the f penalty brake. Yeah. How to press this button, TPWS, is uh, if you hit the Q key, at least on my keyboard this is a Q key, uh, that is for acknowledging all the safety stuff usually, then you hit those, this button, along with the vigilance paddle, along with the AWS reset button here. So this, this button and this button are usually all put on the same keyboard shortcut so you can't really miss it and uh, you can release the, uh, the train from the from the program here already when it is still rolling but the sounds will not stop until you come to a full stop and then you can just start driving again so this is what I wanted to update you This is what I wanted to update you about uh, the TVM and the KVB system. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. And maybe see you tonight for the Cajon Pass stream. Take care.